just going to do it for you guys because we got a big performance coming up. And I figured it would be good if I did this in front of people I didn't know before I go and actually do it for a job. So here it goes. <laughs> in here, every movement is an injury. Every breath, I sigh. You see, we swam through an ocean of memories just to reach a bed that's a lie. Now the man so non-compliant, shy, and far from sublime uttered a somberly spoken statement he hoped would echo through time. I don't want you to be confused, he said. We walk this world like ghosts. In the shadows, alone, consumed by the things we fear the most, be it interaction, attraction, love, lust, trust, the lack thereof, or God forgive us all of the above, these things have stolen us from here. You see, we've been strolling around for years, wandering, pondering, solemnly soldering our broken circuits to a worthless purpose. So forgive me if I go too far. Forgive this bitter, broken heart. Forgive my senses for their part. A taste is too much of a good thing. The smell isn't half as well. To see is too much for me. To hear is my greatest fear. And it feels no good because the best feelings are so goddamn surreal. Now, I'm not antisocial, but it's not exactly outgoing. Maybe for all my suspicion or already knowing what's worth doing. Still, so many try to fix me. So many try to heal me. Thus far, their attempts have only wounded and concealed me. Now their lips on my face at the pace to trace the embrace we let go to waste in our haste and lack of good taste and good faith and good things with broken wings and aching veins, broken dreams and hunger pains. Now we patiently pace in the waiting for the end of our races, races, race for a taste. But a taste is still too much of a good thing. But who am I to complain? I've released this wicked sickness with each relentless sentence, questioning the quest for quintessence with stolen innocence, broken by ignorance and existence lacking common sense. I travel our troubled kind to unravel what you can unwind with blind eyes, even with the kind signs of changing times. People are still waiting in line for nine lines of some fine grind. Wishing for better things while they're pissing it all away. With murderous focus, time tried to choke us, but we danced like a flash of heat lightning on the horizon. Overwhelmed and comatose, spinning, grinning on the finest coke. Yes, our rested best are all hooked on dope. They smoke and poke their veins till they overdose. So, I'll leave them a roast. White if it's their favorite color, some prefer brown. I've always been a green man myself. You see, it's better for your health than it will not squander well. But now these old thoughts are screened. Looking back on these lovely, obscure, obscene scenes of youthful things, we've come far from the dreams we had as teens, traded in our childish schemes to be crack house fiends. These teeners seem to make things lean, but what is to become of me? What is to become of us all? We have our faces against the wall, and naivety, more specifically, we've always hesitated and procrastinated instead of aggravating or agitating the suppressive, suggestive, unimpressive force that tells us how to live or how much to give. So I say we write a new constitution, opposite our current prostitution. You are part of the problem if you aren't part of the solution, and this is about a whole lot more than motherfucking pollution. This is a calling to arms. Like these arms. Because it will take them all to shield us from the fall as this once great empire steals away my desire and inclination to see it exist within this witless mess. We are quiet and shy, but no strangers to the lie. I rely too much on my eye instead of my heart. But before I fall apart, I got one more fight to start. So let's get to picking before we all get stricken down, left to drown and be torn apart by these hounds, these ruthless killers, these suit-wearing drug dealers, these slimy slugs with furry fucking feelers. I say damn this angry in anguish. Let a fire burn that will not extinguish. And nobody's saying it's going to be painless, and nobody's saying you can remain nameless. But I know amongst all slaves and sluts, there must be some that have the guts to open one eye as the other shuts. There must be some that have the balls to charge and let fall these crumbling walls, scream out and echo down forever solved. We're still here though we were wrong. Then we'll sing a celebration song that pays homage to this long drawn on battle with rain and brawn. We'll awaken to the first peaceful dawn since the dawning of time when the moon and the stars hid their shine and our bright silent alarm raged on and man was born. Maybe then, if I still bear the same skin and I have not yet grown too thin, I will smile again. But until that day, each moment's an option. Each breath is an offer. Will you still stand still, my feverish culture? Thank you, Asper.